and I know there's, I don't know how scientific or factual this is, but I know obviously with a lot of ancient civilizations, there's drawings of the third eye. They always show it and they always have reference to the pineal gland. And I know there's a lot of people um, that have theories that it, it's how you tap into a collective consciousness. You know, I don't know how much of that you believe, but I am curious though, when you're running a business, I mean, it sounds great to learn how to do that. And I think it's probably a daily practice. I don't know if you can ever get there. You tell me, but how do you eliminate that switching back and forth when, when you're running a business and you're constantly hit with things that arise, you're not planning for, like, there's always going to be things that show up that aren't ideal. And I think sometimes we're naturally programmed to just go into the response mode and not necessarily creative. So how do you help train your brain to go in that direction? Well, I think the first thing to realize is what switches on that part of the brain, what switches on the creative brain, because this is a mechanical process. And what it is, is when your brain it actually starts off in your emotional feeling brain which is essentially in every moment making a decision for you about whether your environment is safe or whether it's a threat when it's safe your emotional brain sends a signal to to indicate that your creative brain should be activated and it sends it in the in the signal in the form of feelings so mm -hmm. when you feel good you're activating your creative brain but if it says there's a threat to your survival it says there's a threat to your survival you need to activate your survival brain to deal with that danger and the signal it gives is in the form of fear so when you mm -hmm. feel fear stress worry anxiety what's literally happening on a biological level is your brain is interpreting your environment something there is a threat to your survival now the problem is we've created all these imaginary threats to our survival because there aren't any lions out there there's nothing that, you know if your wife tells you they want a divorce and you get all stressed about it your brain has associated this concept of having a divorce with a threat to your survival because somewhere in your distant past you've learned oh you know all these beliefs and thoughts about what relationships should be and all these people who got divorced and it was terrible for them and all those sorts of things so your brain has made a decision that that's a threat to your survival but it isn't but it doesn't get away from the fact that you've activated the wrong part of your brain and what happens when you feel stressed and and fear, afraid and anxious and worried. You do all the wrong things in a relationship, don't you? Mm -hmm. You know, if you, you you start pleading with them, please don't leave me, and or, or you threaten them, or you, you act in all these sorts of ways that only push them away further. And I know this because I, I do a lot of marriage and relationship coaching in this very area. So we know this is what's, what's actually happening, and it's happening on a biological level. So it's when you, so the reality is, when you feel fear, worry, stress, anxiety, your brain is saying there's something that's a threat to your survival and it's going to activate the wrong part of your brain. And if you try and solve your problems, set your goals, manage your business, do anything in that state, you're never going to have access to the answers. You're never going to be able to do exactly the right things. Hmm. And people say, well, like, just as you've said, well, you know, but, but everyone's got problems and stress to deal with in their life and, and in their business and things come along but here's the really interesting thing once you start using your creative brain you actually make much better decisions and you make much quicker deci decisions and you see things not in a, in a way better than they are but in the right way because how many times do we struggle along with something in business and we should have as i said earlier we should have just made the decision not not to do it because one of the things I think we don't realize is that how powerful our brain is. And, you know, I mean, there've been lots of books written about how, about trying to describe the brain. Mm -hmm. And it, virtually every book on the last page, they all pretty well say the same thing. And that's the conclusion. And the conclusion is they can't believe how incredibly powerful the brain is. I mean, the human brain has the computing power of 500 trillion microprocessors. Now, if someone was to come to you and say, Okay, you've got your business, you've got your life, you know, all set up. There's a computer over here. It's got 500 trillion microprocessor power. And it's designed for one purpose, which is to design your life 
in the best way possible so that you are the best that you can be so that you have the greatest chance for survival.